everyone as promised this is jane here from crystal sparkles readings i'm here to just have a little look at the sorry i can't get the camera right um the fairy tarot cards by doreen virtue and radley valentine um i've had these cards for a little while but i haven't unboxed them yet um i'm actually studying the doreen virtue um course on these cards at the moment and um i've just kind of started it so i just wanted to like get into the energy of it before i kind of open them up so that's what i'm going to do today so we can have a little look so we're coming in a nice a traditional sort of style doreen virtue boxes quite nice chunky solid boxes really beautiful illustrations on the box um so they're very very normal for her these are this is the kind of standard for the or your oracle cards it does come with um a nice little book um now with the um books that come with these are tarot cards rather than oracle cards okay so um i tend not to delve too deeply into the book books and i've told you before my reasons why um i like to try to use my intuition with them and to just kind of you know go with what i see on the cards now this is a tarot deck so it's going to be very similar to um other tarot decks and the, and the meanings that those cards have um so if you've used tarot decks before i, I reckon you'll probably be fine with these um and maybe just you know keep the book for having a look at after you've had a real look at the cards or you know do you work with them how it work how it works for you i've it we're all working very different ways okay so the cards are to kept together well, as you can see i haven't opened them um just with like a tape so i've now destroyed that um and they come with um some nice kind of silver silver edging they're very nice i want to say they're chunky cards um I, I don't know whether that means anything to anybody but they're kind of quite solid um so yeah they, they're, they're nice they've got a nice feel to them um these these cards so i'm just going to have a flick through them i'm not going to go into these in really big big detail i will do a proper um review of them so the first few cards we have are the um the major arcana cards so i'm going to just go through those first um, let's separate them all out okay let's have a little look so these are your major arcana cards so you've got the dreamer in the place of the fool and the magician and the high priestess the empress the emperor now these are kind of the traditional um similar meanings we've got the five there we've got unity um instead of the um hierophant would be there but you can see it's got all of those same things attached to it um lovers chariot justice hermit wheel strength awakening which is your hanged man release which is death um your balance which would be um would be justice and and then you've got ego like see these are quite different towards the end here the life experience stuff what i'll do is when i've had a chance to actually study these properly and, and work out which one relates to which part of the tarot because so i think from what i can see so far the numbers are they do match with the tarot so um they are really beautiful beautifully illustrated cards as you can see they're really lovely um very very pretty illustrations so that's the um major arcana and then we've got the suits like the what we what we would call the pips cards um so the first suit we've got is 
is spring. I won't go through all of them. Just give you a little look. They're very pretty, the spring. Um, the spring cards. They do, unfortunately, when they're brand new, get a bit stuck together. So I probably should have given these a good shuffle first, but I wanted to actually kind of up unbox them properly. Um, so that's your spring. Um, and then summer. These are really, really beautiful. Beautiful cards. Um, so there is your, your summer cards. And then we've got the winter ones. It's winter. And these are really, really beautiful. Love the winter ones. They are really, really pretty. I kind of like the winter ones. They're very pretty. Okay. I need to spend a little bit of time with those. And here are the autumn cards. So you've got the seasons as the suits rather than your traditional coins, um, swords, cups and um, wands. And I'm just going to have a little look before I go too much further on. So these are, yeah, we've got the months, um, the seasons rather than your traditional coins, swords. Um, cups and wands okay so it looks to me um do forgive me if i'm wrong but i'm kind of just going with how i feel about them it looks to me as if spring um it looks to me if it's summer is the cups um it sees quite a lot of watery energy there um the winter cards appear to be the swords um i think from what i'm looking at i would say they look like the swords and then i think autumn are our pentacles quite abundant and all of those things and then we've got the spring which looks like being the wands okay so that's kind of how they are, they're set out um the cards are they have like little key phrases on them okay so they are you don't have to this would be quite good if you're learning tarot because they give you little clues about what the cards are all about now bear in mind you don't have to take that on board all right it may not be that you feel that that's what's being represented in the reading that you're giving Go with what you feel. Um, but these are quite nice because if you were learning and you're struggling to know the meanings or remember the traditional meanings and that was bothering you, these are good because they have little meanings here along the bottom. And when you get down to um, the um, people cards, like the King of Winter, so this would be King of Swords, they say knowledgeable, experienced, fair-minded, unemotional. It, it kind of gives you the keywords that go with that card okay so the keywords are on the people cards um and the brief meanings are on the bottom of these cards so they look pretty good if you want to learn if you're learning the tarot i'm not saying you couldn't use them if you are pretty good with the tarot and and have been working with it for some time because you absolutely could it's just a matter of you go in with the flow of what you you believe and what you see in those cards okay so as you can see like the the, the imagery is pretty busy there's a lot going on in that imagery 
so you can kind of see straight away what you what are you drawn to in that card see i'm really drawn to these circles going around and um like the sparkliness of them that to me is is talking about brightness bright ideas and all of that kind of stuff so you know you go with what you see really and what you feel you need to say okay so that's all good these are all the um major arcanas i would say to you the cards are nice okay they've got a nice chunky feel to them i reckon they'll be quite easy to shuffle i'm gonna have a little go let's see if i can do it in front of you so that you can see i'm not so sure i can actually get far enough away there we go so they do shuffle and bear in mind they are new they need working with these cards are like they're sticking together at the moment and and all of that stuff so they're going to take a little while to bed in they're a little bit shiny um so they're a little bit slippery um i kind of i do prefer the more matte finish cards because they shuffle much more easily um but these will settle down and they will get to a stage where you can use them really easily um I'm liking these, I've got to say. I'm liking these a lot. I like the illustrations. The illustrations are lovely. Um, I kind of feel like I haven't really delved into the illustrations too much with you. And the reason for that is there's too much. There's just too much going on to take it all in in one go. And I just feel like I need to spend some time getting to know them a little bit more before I start to... Um, form too much of an opinion on them they are really really beautiful cards there's no doubt about that um, as I say I really do think that if you're learning and just starting with tarot they might be a really really good card for you set of cards for you because they do have those those kind of keywords on them that really can help you out you know don't be bound by them don't be too stuck to them but they're certainly um, helpful to, to help you to remember what the what the sort of traditional meanings for cards are um and then you can feel free to ignore that um learn it then ignore it um but yeah so you know go with your flow what you think is right um the fairy cards are you know they're, they're similar to angels i suppose they're similar to the angel energy they're, they're, they're kind of like earth angels so um fairies are um do you have egos though unlike the angels so you know you kind of have to have to work with with that energy a little bit they're not quite as non-judgmental um so you have to try to be as non-judgmental as you can when you're working with them okay so i'll leave that there for now i really do like them um almost feel like they're more of a grower set of cards rather than a Oh my god i'm totally blown away from with them like i was with the tarot illuminati which are just just beautiful beautiful cards um these are lovely too but i almost feel like they're something that i'll grow with rather than be straight into um so i'm just going to pop my little piece of crystal on top there just to leave those to settle down for a little bit get used to my energy and um i know that probably sounds mad to you but i kind of do think of them as as people so they do kind of need to bed in with you um so i'm going to leave those on my table for now and um i'll be having another look at a different deck of cards soon um it's these are not new um but i'm going to have a look at these energy oracle cards that i use all the time and i'm just going to go through them a little bit and show you guys what they're all like and talk a little bit about them because i do use them a lot on my daily cards so it might be interesting for people to have a little bit of a closer look at them thank you very much for watching and i'll speak to you again soon bye for now